What is up you guys? It's Taylor Janet. Welcome back to my channel. Whew. It's the weekend. I'm so excited. It's April 27th, you guys. The semester is coming to an end and just thought I'd vlog, see what we get up to this weekend. And yeah, it's gonna be like me getting my life together, hanging out with friends, getting ready for toga. All fun things, so yeah. I haven't vlogged since Spellbound, and that's just because Spellbound was crazy. Then I had to get my life together, and then my laptop broke, so it was crazy. Um, so obviously, this video is probably going to go up late. Um, because I haven't been able to edit because I just got my computer back last night and I have like tests and stuff going on, but it's Friday. I feel like I always say that it's Friday on the vlogs, but it's usually when I vlog. Um, I'm about to go with Leah and Delena to do some toga shopping, so that's gonna be so much fun. Guys, we are in Joanne Fabrics right now. <gasps> you just need to see how overwhelming this is. Friends, so yes. many, so many choices. <laughs> okay, guys. So update: we did pick out fabrics. It was really hard. Where, what are we talking about? Here's today? Leah's fabric. This one's mine, and this one's Delena's. So, all right. So now I am looking for leaves to decorate with. These are kind of what I'm looking for, but they're I want them to be gold. So let's keep looking. Right around. All of that. Alrighty, you guys. So we just came back from Joanne Fabrics. Did us well. Alright, guys. We are out here in the Sweets Amphitheater. Is that what it's called? I think so. We are out here in the Sweets Amphitheater. Just getting some sun and homework done. Because it's a nice day outside, so. That's what we're doing. All right, guys, Delaina and I are here. Hello. Outside, we decided to film an impromptu Q&A, and I actually happen to have some really good questions already lined up. Oh, wow. These questions are questions that I asked in one of my very first videos, and I asked the questions to the upperclassmen, so it was like a reverse Q&A about life at Spelman as a freshman. Oh, yeah. So, yes, we're here. Hello. Hello, YouTube. Hi. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs> so, I love her girl. Oh my gosh. Y'all, when you come to Spelman, Spelman 22, Raquel is the greatest person you'll ever meet. Go find her. Go find her and just be her friend. Okay? Yeah, she is the she, greatest person ever. She loves everybody. She's she hypes you great, up on the daily. She'll see you and be like, girl, you she, look like, so good. So put just, together. She has great energy. Okay, great. Tia, we're filming a QA. Come join. Oh really? Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. My hair looks crazy. Do I have the questions? Actually let me let me just if go and make you subscribe. Yeah. Yes, if you haven't already by this point. Click right here you're annoying <laughs> to taylor janet oh my god um it will be all of her channel well if you what don't, don't follow to taylor you need to get on it because taylor is yeah. like taylor's lit the bomb she is the bomb she is and like she's like everything in one person um, i just feel like having a little bit of taylor janet in your life really changes you no my friends are hyping me up like we are here for you we are the lighting was so What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Taylor Janet. Today we're filming an impromptu Q&A. Um, last year, last year? Mm -hmm. We uh, made a little video with some of the upperclassmen talking about... <laughs> Cancel. <laughs> Cancel. Talk <laughs> talking about what freshman year was really like. Um, and so we, now at the end of our freshman year, are going to make the same video. Because we have a little bit of insight at this point, so stay tuned for the rest. <laughs> Thank you, Delena, for that introduction. You know, I think she really said it all. So let's just get into the questions. If you guys haven't seen that video, <laughs> click right here. It'll be in the cards above. Oh, you know the terminology and everything. Okay. All right, guys. Question number one: What is your name? I'm Delena. I'm Tia. And my name's Taylor Janet. <laughs> I don't know, it just feels 
like weird because like I don't know. So we're outside. I just like take these off for tan lines for. Because it's just like a nice day out. Change the scenery, film outside, nice little sit down. Yeah, Marissa and I still have yet to film the roommate tag. And I'm really thinking it's not gonna happen. But maybe y'all can go into her channel and like pester her so that we can film it. Question number two. What year are you? College? And yeah, I'm a freshman. So see, some of these questions are a little bit different, but yes, we are all freshmen here. Fresh meat. Won't be so long. Yeah. About to be sophomores. Be sophomore sophomore season. season. Okay. Like you know. Okay. What is your major? Um, I'm a history major with a European concentration on the pre-med track. Okay. I'm a health science major with an education and I am an economics major, Spanish minor, and probably business administration minor as well. What was your freshman dorm? Di Lambda. Di Lambda, LLC1. I, I just feel like I can say it now because yeah, I'm man. really moving out. Yeah, like I don't think I've ever verbalized my dorm because um, safety. But I'm really about to move out, so LLC won the best freshman dorm. Manly. No. LLC got AC. <laughs> you mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could go on and on, but yes. I actually live in LLC. Yeah, we all li live in LLC. I'll be an RA next Shh. year. Maybe that's not safe. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, we don't, we don't. Yeah, true. Yeah. That out. And next year, so me and Delena will be staying in. <laughs> We'll just stay tuned for next year to find out where we're staying, okay? We're getting to the good questions. What's a good tip for making friends as a freshman? Um, definitely, like, go out and meet, like, the people on your hall. That helps. Um, and go to other halls, too. Yeah. Because, join, also join clubs. Because I just feel like that's how I made the majority of my friends. Um, like, Tia and I were next door neighbors. And just love Tia dearly. Taylor lives on the other hall for me. Do. Um, I'm closer with the other hall than my hall, but um, you know, we were all in the same program, so it helped. Also, the people you meet like the first week or whatever, like it's cool to still hang out with them, but make sure like throughout the year you continue to socialize and meet new people. And that goes into what I was saying is. Wait, I didn't say anything yet. Um, <laughs> also, I would say in your classes, like, first of all, if this doesn't go without saying, don't sign up for the classes that your friends are taking because you and your friends are not the same people, like, whatever. But anyways, you'll make friends in your classes. Like, I met so many cool people in my classes that I just get to hang out with, like Leah. Y'all already know Leah. Um, but, yeah. And then each semester, you get a chance to meet new people. So that's really cool. Okay, so if you could tell your freshman self one thing, what would it be? Um, okay, so we're still freshmen, but okay, I'm, I'll go first this time, mix it up. I would tell my freshman self, like my early freshman self, to go out more and do more things, because I really spent the whole first semester in my room and in the library. And I, either way, I feel like time management, like you can do more and have fun and just, yeah, enjoy freshman year. I would say do what makes you happy. I feel like first year, um, I started out doing taking classes and doing things that I didn't really like see myself doing in the future. So I would tell myself to do what makes you happy, go after what you want, not what my parents want or what other people think I would be good at. So I agree with them on like the whole like class thing. So I'm gonna like Fear off a little bit. Um, so basically, freshman year, everybody's trying to like get a little bay, a little boot thing, and they kind of like focus a lot of their attention on that. I would say don't do that because like a relationship will come with time. It's not like the right time for a semester for everybody. If it happens, like that's great, but like if not, like don't stress about it. Like you have four years here, you also have an entire, you have a, a lifetime for that to happen. So. You no, know, just focus on your academics, focus on making friends, making connections, definitely like become friends with people at Clark, people at Morehouse, you know, and just enjoy like your experience. Okay guys, the next question is, who was your favorite professor? Dr. Payne, hands down. 
<laughs> no, I love Dr. Payne. He had me rolling in class. I don't think I, I don't know. He's just, he's so, he's a lot of fun. His tests are hard. It is a hard class, but he's so much fun. He's so cool. I went to his uh, office a couple times needing, in need of, like, advice. And he sat there and listened to me, which I thought was really cool. And that's what made me look at him different. But he's super cool. He's a character. But he's fun. <laughs> he is. Do you want to go? Yeah. Okay. Uh, my favorite professor, probably Professor Johnson, my staff professor. She is a bundle of energy. Um, you have to match her energy at all times. She tells you from the beginning of the course. If you don't match her energy, then this course might not be good for you. And at first I was like, hmm, this class is probably going to be something. But I ended up loving the class. Her office hours are the best. I literally sit in there and like I can be working on something else. And we're just sitting there like having a little conversation. And then like maybe we'll do statistics. You don't know. But like, you know, just she's great. She's awesome. My favorite teacher is Pilar Valencia the icon, the legend. She is a queen. She teaches Spanish here and she is the nicest person ever. Like, foreign language is a requirement. And so if you choose to take Spanish, make sure you get into Valencia's class because she rocks for real. All right guys, next question is, what are the do's and don'ts for freshman year? Oh gosh, the do's and don'ts. Um, do plan ahead get your assignments done early um don't wait till the last minute don't sneak anybody into your dorm because you live in llc1 the rd who you will love miss she's stephanie amazing. is awesome she's, she's so cool she will find out and you will get in trouble and we'll all lose our invited. visitation yeah and you don't want that to happen um fun with caution go out have fun be safe though and don't go i mean it's cool to kind of sometimes go out on school nights but make sure you get your homework done and have all that done don't stay in your room all the time it's gonna feel weird because you're gonna be around a lot of people that you don't know and you come here and you're not from land and know anybody it's gonna feel weird and you're gonna want to stay in your room but get out really hit up the AUC then you'll feel comfortable. Um, I guess going along those lines, a do is just put your best self forward and be yourself. Like when you come in, like you're meeting all these new people, like they were saying. So don't try to switch up, like just be yourself. And because your real colors will come out at one point. Yeah, and like I feel like for me, I came into college exactly how I always am. I didn't switch up or anything. And then I feel like the reason my friends are so great and that I have the same friends from the first day to the last, like, to, for the rest of our lives, really, is because... you're not getting rid of us. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know. I feel like because I, like, came as myself and they come as themselves, like, I don't know. And we got our little bracelets and I can't Oh, yeah, it, we so. do. We have friendship bracelets. They're non-returnable, so... <laughs> you have it ever. Too bad. Um, yeah, bad. so I guess be yourself because if not, you're not going to hang out with people who you should be hanging out with. Um, a don't is don't get a reputation. <laughs> um, like, I don't know, like, just to keep it real with you guys, the AUC might, like, for me it seemed big, but it's not. It is really, really small, and you need to be careful about how you carry yourself and I guess how you want other people to see you because if you do something a little suspect like Everybody's the beginning of the year everybody will know your business and it's really not that hard to just be nice to everyone like think about what you do like things like that yeah that's the next question don't take advantage of college because it takes a lot it costs a lot of money to go to school yeah so don't take advantage of this opportunity like really go to events join clubs and they always have free t-shirts here. Like, you gotta jump on You pay for those. Like, that's your tuition. Mm -hmm. It's not going towards the calf. It's going <laughs> towards those t-shirts. Or the dorm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next question is, what's the hardest academic year? And we're all 
still currently freshmen technically yeah. for the next like week and a half but um probably definitely not freshman year that's all i can say and i think it really depends on your major and what you do yeah probably junior year probably <laughs> oh ooh, this is a good one tell us one thing about morehouse the guys and graves are some of the coolest guys i have ever met graves got graves is the best morehouse freshman dorm so if, they're the best if you live in llc one or if you live in any dorm honestly like befriend graves guys yes befriending and dating are two different things <laughs> yes they are but they are some phenomenal guys like i love them dearly they like they're they have their sisters back they really do for real they really care about them. um yeah i'd say like we have like a lot of friends at morehouse in graves and i don't know like we became friends like during nso and we're still friends because they're just good like they have your back like they're they're brothers for real yeah it's a good question again is there a lot of drama in college no there's not drama unless you want there to be drama yeah that's kind of there's it. people who like drama here like they will seek out drama yeah they'll make sure like you get wrapped up into the drama but don't let people get you out of character just like i don't know don't talk about people behind their back that's a good way to stay if out of drama you can't say it to their yeah. face don't say it at all yeah and if you need somebody to vent to, your mom. Call your mom. Call your, your mo mom is your best friend. Call your mom, call your dad, call your grandparents, call your aunt, your uncle, whoever you trust in your family, call them. Like, let me tell you guys, like, I give my mom all the tea. Like, if something is happening, I will call her. And it'd be piping hot, baby. My mom <laughs> loves tea. Yeah. She does. Yeah, your mom will learn all of your friends' names, like, all the, like, people's names, and I'll be like, guess what so-and-so uh, said to so-and-so? Like, give your mom the tea. Nobody else needs it. Yeah, because I was involved in zero drama. Any final remarks? Um, hey, Brittany! Brittany! We're doing a Q&A. This is my roommate, come here! Brittany came to join us. So, y'all already know Brittany. So any final remarks about so Spellman and Thanks. to Spellman 22? Don't take your freshman year for granted. Because from here? <laughs> oh. <laughs> now I'm joking, I mean like, Freshman year is when you meet all your friends Yikes. and you start to build lasting relationships. Your responsibility is a lot, but after this, it's no joke, so. Yeah. I would say, um, I'm I don't know, just enjoy it, be nice, be yourself, and to go swim in 20 <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, so any final remarks? Um, Brittany said her piece. Um, don't come to college with any preconceived notions of like how you think college is gonna go, um, any people here, um, or don't think like the group me little thing is Stay going to, away like, from the group me. That's gonna be like, oh, they're together because they're in this group me, oh, they're a friend group, because I promise you, once NSO is over, like the group me clout goes from here they get four. to here. Like it's just, I think at four, it all just goes away. And then you start or meeting five. people that like you really click with. I mean, like, not that I'm saying that you won't click with anybody in the group. Me like that could happen. It really could. But I mean, like, just come in with an open mind, be ready to like work hard and play hard and just enjoy your time here. Yeah. You got to play hard. Are you kidding me? Like if you were just work, 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 you would be miserable. Yeah. Um, I'm just really excited. Oh. I guess my final remark is gonna be to meet upperclassmen as well. Like you're gonna meet like a lot of people who are freshmen, but like get to know the big kids too, because they really become like you know your big sisters. Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoyed this Q and A. It was really fun to film with my friends, and yeah, I feel old. College went by really fast. Not college, but um, freshman, freshman year. year. Yeah. yeah. And it was a great experience. So if you're spelling 22, three, four, five, six, whatever, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about what to expect for your freshman year. Thanks so much. As always, if you enjoyed this video, give me a huge thumbs up, comment what you wanna see more from, if you have any more questions, and subscribe to my channel because my Ecuador Study Abroad series is on the way and you don't wanna miss out. Bye guys, see you in the next video.